Are you on track to experiencing your greatness and highest potential in this lifetime? First, let me start off by saying that I truly believe all of us have a purpose, all of us have a calling, all of us have a reason for being here to begin with, and it's up to us to uncover what that is for us. So your highest potential, your highest greatness in this lifetime is different than anybody else's, and it's that unique expression of your own soul that is calling you forward. So if you're watching this video, I'm sure you have been already contemplating this on a deeper level like what am i here to do what would bring my life more value what is my purpose what um what am i being called to do in this lifetime what do i truly want to experience you probably know that there's so much more to experience and that there's so much more to grow into and to expand into and so the question that I want you to ask yourself today is really simple and will really help just cut to the chase to help you discern whether or not you are in line with reaching your highest potential or not in this lifetime. And when I say highest potential, I'm not talking about all of the accolades and of success that you see people accumulating in the outside world. I'm not talking about that. Abundance is fabulous, cars are fabulous, money is fabulous, all of this stuff is fabulous. What I'm talking about by highest potential is the alignment with your soul, like coming into the alignment with why you are here to begin with. And so the question you need to ask yourself is this, am I more afraid of loss or am I more afraid of regret? Right? Everything has some potential for, for loss. And loss is a real fear because the more you grow, the more you expand, the more you allow in, the scarier it is because the more you risk losing it, right? So you have to be able to open up and expand in order to attract more success, in order to attract more money, in order to attract more love, in order to attract more relationships, in order to attract all of these different things. Whatever it is that you truly, truly, truly desire is going to require that you open up and that you allow and that you become vulnerable and that you experience risk right? And so the thing is, the more that you grow and expand in these areas, the more you have to lose, the harder it is you'll fall, right? The higher you rise, your ego sees it as um, this safety alert. And so that's what keeps people playing small. That's what keeps people stuck. That's what keeps people from from making decisions, from saying um, yes when they mean no, from saying no when they mean yes from being wishy-washy with their dreams and their desires and, and not getting and not taking action, it's because of this. However, if you fear regret more than you fear loss, you are going to be willing to, to walk through the fire. You're going to be willing to risk the loss. Uh, you're going to be willing to open your heart. You're going to be vulnerable. You're going to be able to take the leap. You're going to step up and play a much bigger game and which furthers you down the road of reaching your highest and greatest potential because here's the thing your soul doesn't play it safe your soul doesn't doubt your soul doesn't second guess your soul doesn't fear right your soul is sees the bigger picture that you are not able to see in your human experience and so this is why there is a level of trust and a level of faith that is required in this process that you must surrender to in full faith in order to take the leap, in order to move forward, in order to take the risk, right? And when you do that, you're stepping more into your soul alignment. You're following your heart's desires. You're following what's in your highest and greatest good so that you can reach your highest potential and greatness in this lifetime. Otherwise, the fear of loss will keep you capped and hitting a ceiling in all of the different areas of your life that you are unwilling to step through that fire and step through that fear and take that leap and make that jump and you know, set down that shield and become vulnerable and become open. And this is not something that is easy for anyone to do. 
it's challenging for everybody across the board. Everybody has fear. Because we have our conditioned belief systems. We have our past experiences that says it's not safe. We have um, what society deems reasonable or you know logical and things like that. And anything that deviates outside of that norm doesn't seem safe to us. And so we sabotage ourselves and stay small because we don't want to risk potential loss. But in not being vulnerable and risking that potential loss, we fail to achieve what's on the other side of that. We will never reach that if we are not willing to take the loss, take the risk, take the leap of faith. And so I want you to think about this and apply it to whatever area of your life is resonating with you right now that's popping up into your mind as you watch this video because that's your intuitive guidance system, that's your higher self, that's your soul talking to you and that's why you're resonating with this video to begin with. And I want you to ask yourself, where are you allowing the fear of potential loss keeping you small, keeping you stuck, keeping you in a state of avoidance, keeping you you know, from experiencing what it is that your heart truly desires. Because when you align with what your heart truly desires, that is when you will reach your highest and greatest potential in this lifetime. Nothing trumps soul alignment. Nothing's going to trump the lessons that are popping up in your experience in order to teach you how to come into greater soul alignment. This is part of this process of awakening and stepping onto the conscious path. So I just wanted to leave you with that today. Let me know if this is resonating with you. I'd love your questions and comments, whether you're watching this video um, on Facebook, YouTube, uh, Instagram, hit me up, send me a DM. I'd love to hear from you and I will talk to you soon. Namaste.